Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise and we give you the glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet. We give God all the praise and all the glory. He's worthy to be praised. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our jobs and our homes. Lord, we just praise you out of the world, Father God. You many families pray Christ in the name. Best hit music every time you turn us on. Every time you turn us on, there's another hit song. Go back and do it one more time. Everybody, God of mercy. Yeah, yeah.
God bless you. Welcome this Friday morning to the Faith Seminar. Live from Houston, Texas with Bishop John Echoes. With Dr. John Echoes and Bishop Echoes. Dr. John Newsom. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank God for another wonderful day. I'd like to say hello to Brother Tony Gill and to all those who are listening all around the world. I'm Dr. John Newsom. I'm the pastor of Word of Faith Christian Center Church International at 984 Reverend B.J. Lewis Drive here in Houston, Texas. Our service times are Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and our Wednesday night Bible study at 7 p.m. Come by and worship with us. I'd love to see your face in the place. Well, hello, Bishop. Uh, good morning, Dr. Newsom. What, what a wonderful day. Yeah, yeah. It, it sure is. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Uh, thank God for a new day. Amen. Yeah. Thank, thank God. God. Thank God. Amen. This is the day that he has made. It's wonderful. Oh, yes. It's really wonderful. It's wonderful. Can you give, can you give out your church information? Yes. Um, I'm Bishop Opeko, the pastor of Church on the Rock Fellowship. Where we are located at 15987 West Timer Road here in the city of Houston. Um, our fellowship days are Wednesdays. Bible studies at 7 p.m. We have our prayer night at 7 p.m. as well, and on Fridays. And then, and then on Sundays, we have our powerful Holy Ghost worship service at 11 a.m. My telephone number is 832-373-3227. Come by and, and, and worship with us. God bless you. Amen. All right. Thank you, Bishop. Well, yes. we've, we've been in our faith seminar for the last two weeks, and I tell you, it's been so exciting and, and, and so in, encouraging, so helpful, uh, uh, teaching on the most important subject as far as what God wants us to do and how he wants us to live. It's the most important subject in the Bible, and, and that's the message of faith. And uh, to, to give a brief summary, we found out that uh, we're saved through faith. That's very important. It's better to be saved than to be on your way to hell than to go to hell. We're saved through faith. Uh, we receive all the promises of God through faith. The quality of our lives are determined by faith. Uh, faith is what makes us whole. Our faith is what makes us whole. We overcome all the trouble that we face in this world. How? Through faith. We access the favor or the grace of God through faith. And Jesus, Yeshua, he looks for us to use our faith. I tell you, faith is the most important subject in the Bible. The most oh. important subject is how God wants you and I to live. The scripture says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 17, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. God reveals his righteousness uh, to us. When we walk by faith, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. That word live means to make more lively. It means to live it up. It means to really enjoy life, to have a vibrant life, a, 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 a successful life, a whole life. Uh, that's what it means to live, to really enjoy life to be fresh and strong and efficient and full of vigor. The just shall live by faith. And I tell you, it's been so exciting. I've, I've really enjoyed having this faith seminar. And today, uh, uh, we're, we're going to wrap it up. And I, I'll be focusing in on confession. Confession, now, that's part of the ABCs of faith. Uh, yeah. The ABCs of faith, ask. Believe you receive, confess, uh, demonstrate, act like the word of God is so, expect, and forgive. I want to wrap it all up uh, on confession today because it's so important uh, uh, what comes out of our mouths. <laughs> what comes mm -hmm. out of our mouths uh, is so important. So that's what I'll be talking about today is confession. 
Amen. Now, now that word in the Greek, confess, confess, it means to speak or to make a statement that's in agreement with the word of God. That's, that's what that word confess means. It means to speak or to make a statement that's in agreement with the word of God. You and I shouldn't be letting anything come out of our mouth that's not in agreement with the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's, let's start off. Let's look at Mark chapter 11. We're talking about confession today. Mark chapter 11. And, and let's begin at verse 20. Let's begin at verse 20. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw a fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, said unto Jesus, Master, behold, the fig tree which, which thou cursest is withered away. Jesus opened up his mouth, and he cursed that fig tree, and it withered away. Look at verse 22. And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. In other words, you can do the same thing if you open up your, your when you open up your mouth, you can do the same thing. For verily I say to you, that whosoever shall say, he's talking about how you're using your mouth. Mm -hmm. How you, uh, what you're confessing, what you're saying. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, uh, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things uh, which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. So that's why we have to be so very uh, careful uh, of what comes out of our mouth because Jesus says, God says that we're going to have whatsoever we say it, be it good, be it bad. You're going to get it. If you continue to say it, you're going to get it. Look at Proverbs chapter 18. Mm. We're created in the image of God, and there yeah. is power in what we say. We see in God's mouth. There is power in what God says. He created everything by what he said. In the beginning, God what? Said, let there be light, and there was light. The Bible clearly tells us that we're created in the image of God, in the image of you, Yah, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're created in the image of God. The scripture tells us, uh, over in, 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 in the Old Testament, over in Psalm, he said, have not I said that you are gods? We're, we're gods. We're, we're the children of God. We're not gods, but we are gods because we belong to God, and he's God. So we're little gods with a little g. We're his children. We're the children of God, and we have power. In, there's power in what we say. We're made in the, in the image of Almighty God. And he said, let there be light, and there was light. Look at Proverbs in, in chapter 18. There's power in what comes out of our mouth. So we've got to be careful in what we say. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21, the scripture clearly tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. You can speak death into existence into your life, or you can speak life, a, a vigorous, a successful, a, a exciting, joyful life into existence out of your mouth. You can speak death, or you can speak life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Watch what you say, because you're going to have to eat it. You're going to have to eat it. Whatever you're saying, you're going to have to eat it. You know, there's a saying they used to say, you make your bed, you're going to what? You got, you got a lie in it. Mm. <laughs> so watch how you make your bed, because you're going to have to lie in it. Oh, glory to God. We're talking about mm. confession today, speaking or making statements that are in agreement with the word of God. Turn to mm. Romans chapter 10. Oh, glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. We're wrapping up this faith seminar by encouraging you to, to control what comes out of your mouth. Mm. We, need to speak, we need to speak and make statements that are in agreement with the word of God because mm -hmm. death and life are in the power of the tongue. Look at Romans chapter 10 
and verse 10. Yeah. Our tongue has the power to create, just like God, just like Yud Hey Bob Hey, just like the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Almighty God. Our, our tongue has the power to create. Romans chapter 10, and let's read verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. With the mouth, with the mouth. With the mouth, we can speak deliverance and material and, and, and success and, and prosperity into our lives. That's what salvation means. It means eternal life, but it, it means whole life, uh, whole life. It means deliverance. It means uh, 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 prosperity. It means everything good, salvation, et including eternal life. How do we get that? Well, we believe in our heart that, and, and we confess with our mouth. Mm -hmm. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. In other words, we speak our deliverance into existence. Mm -hmm. We speak our prosperity into deliverance. That word salvation is a powerful a Greek word, and it means whole life prosperity. It means eternal life. It means deliverance. It means whole life prosperity in every area of your life. And we have the power to speak that into existence out of our mouth. Oh, glory to God. Mm. But with the heart, God says, man believeth unto righteousness. You believe in your heart, and you what? And you speak it out of your mouth, your salvation. That's how important confession is. Confession, once again, is to speak or make a statement that's in agreement with the word of God. Look at Hebrews chapter 11. We're talking about confession and the power of our tongue. Hebrews chapter 11, and, and let's read verse 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. God framed the worlds by his word, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Oh, glory to God. God, he mm. framed the world. He created everything by invisible words that came out mm. of his mouth. Oh, glory to God. And mm. we ought to do the same thing. Oh, hallelujah. This is the word of God that, that I'm teaching you this morning. This is the word of God that you're hearing. God created the, he, he framed the world. How? By the word that came out of his mouth. Oh, glory to God. Jesus. Look at Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1. That's how God framed the world. How did he frame the world? With the words that came out of his mouth. That's how God created the world. Now look what God tells his children to do. Look at Ephesians, and you are a child of God if you have confessed Jesus as Lord with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You're saved. You are a child of God. And this is how the child of God is to live. We're to live just like God. This mm. is how the child of God is, is to do things. We're to do things just like God does things. Look at Ephesians chapter 5. Let me show you that in the Word. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1 says, Be ye therefore followers. That word followers in the Greek, it means imitators. We're to imitate God. Be ye therefore imitators of God as dear children. God expects for us to imitate him. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He expects for his children to do like he does. Hallelujah. He spoke and framed the world into existence. We're to speak and frame our world. We're to speak what we want in our lives into existence. Why am I saying that? Because he tells us in Ephesians 5, 1, that we are to be imitators of him. We're to copy. We're to do like we see him do in the word of God. He created his worlds. We need to create our worlds by what we say. Hallelujah. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. A big part of faith is confession. It's speaking or making statements that are in agreement with the word of God. It also wow. means to speak the same thing. That word confession means to speak the same thing. 
We need to speak what God speaks. Hallelujah. We need to speak what he speaks. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and let's read verse 13. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. If we believe what God says, we'll be speaking what he says. We'll be speaking, making the same, speaking the same thing. If we believe now, if we believe, I believe in this word of faith. That's why I speak it. I, I believe in it. I believe in the promises of God. That's why I speak them. I, I believe in it. Oh, glory to God. When you believe something, you'll be speaking it. You'll be oh, saying oh, yeah, the oh, same yeah. thing. I believe, oh, yeah. the scripture says, therefore I what? I speak. Hey, glory oh, to God. Look at Isaiah yeah. in chapter 57. I tell you, it's power in confession. It's power wow. in speaking or making statements that are, that are in agreement with God's word. Wow. Oh, it's very powerful. Hallelujah. Okay. We're to be imitators of God. We need to create our world around us. We need mm -hmm. to create the atmosphere around us by what we say. We're mm -hmm. made in the image of Almighty God. Amen. We're to behave and we're to imitate him. If you're going to imitate anybody, imitate God. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, it's so easy for people to begin to uh, imitate other human beings. That's all, all right if they're imitating God, but for sure you need to be imitating Almighty God. Hallelujah. You, hey, Barbie, I better make uh, clear to you what God, who, who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the only true living God. The God of yeah. creator of heaven and earth. That's who I'm talking about. You, hey, Bob, hey. Hallelujah. The God yeah. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look at Isaiah chapter 57. We're talking about confession this morning. It's a very important part of faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 57. I use that scripture so much that I it's torn out of one of my Bibles, and I had to mm. I had to get a reserve here. I had to get another Bible. Isaiah chapter fifty seven. I keep my Bibles. Oh glory to God! Yeah, I man. keep them every now and then. I bless someone and give someone uh, uh, one of my Bibles. I keep my Bibles. Isaiah yeah. chapter fifty seven and verse first or uh, verse fourteen. Oh, no, Isaiah fifty seven verse nineteen. I'm sorry, verse nineteen. 19. Listen to what the scripture said. I create. That word create means to make. To make. I make the fruit of the lips. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near, saith the Lord. And I will heal him. I create the fruit of the lips, of your language. That word lips right there in the Hebrew, it means language. So God creates our what? Language. In other words, he creates what we're speaking. So we've got to be very careful of what we're what? Mm. Speaking because it will be created. It will be created. What we're speaking will be created. Oh, mm. glory to God. We, that's why we need to speak and make statements that are in agreement with the word of God. Speak the same wow. thing. We need to speak mm. good things. Uh, make sure that what you're speaking, make sure that you want it. Make sure that you want it, because I tell you, according to the scripture, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So whatever you're speaking, you're going to get it. Whatever you're continuously speaking and whatever's continuously uh, coming out of your mouth, uh, yeah. make sure that you want it, because you're going to get it. Oh, glory wow. to God. We're talking Thank about you. confession, and we're to speak and make statements that are in agreement with the word of God. In other words, God, he expects for us to imitate him. He expects that. He expects for us to imitate him. We're to be imitators, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. We're to be imitators of God as his dear children. Glory to God. Look at Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Mm. Hebrews chapter 10, and let's read verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith 
mm. without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. We need mm. to hold fast to confessing uh, what God says in his word, speaking the same thing that God speaks. Mm. We need to hold fast the profession of our faith, the promises of God that we're believing God for. We need to hold fast. Don't waver. Don't get to moving over into doubt and unbelief and staying over there. Uh, no, we need to be strong in faith and holding fast to the confession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. God is faithful. He's promised you some things. Keep confessing them until manifestation takes place. He's faithful. He's going to do it for you. Confession. An important part of walking by faith. Mm. Bishop? Oh, this is powerful. This is powerful. What you say is what will happen to you. There is power in the, in, in, in the confession of the tongue. I'm telling you, when you confess things, it happens. That's why the Bible says something that we have to be very careful. I love all. Oh, you, 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 you said it all. Isaiah 57, 19, you said he, he, uh, he creates the, the fruit of our lives. That's why we need to be very careful of, of what we say. What you say will happen to you. I'm telling yes. you. And that's yes. why we need to be there. Because God created, he created the fruit of our lives. Praise God. You yes. said no. He created it. So we need to be careful. That's why he says something in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 2. He said, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. <laughs> Thou art taken with the words of, of, of your mouth. What yes. you say will happen to you. When you look at your child and say, My child is blessed. You are very intelligent. You are, you are, the, you are the head and not the tail. You will succeed in your life. That child is definitely going to succeed. But when you, when you, when you speak forces into the life of your child, I'm telling you, you've discovered that, that that same thing you say to your child, if it is negative effect, it will affect him. It will affect him or her. Praise God. It will affect you or she. Because there is power in, the, in, in, in your confession. Praise God. Yes. He said, that are snared. You have been trapped with the words of thy mouth. That are <laughs> taken with the words of your mouth. The Bible says we should be careful what we say. Uh, uh, look at look at look at Matthew eighteen eighteen. He said Matthew eighteen eighteen. Let's go to it. Matthew eighteen eighteen. My God, this is this Hallelujah. is a good way. This is a good way of right, rounding up the revival and make the seminar. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Matthew eighteen eighteen. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Matthew eighteen eighteen. What did he say? Matthew eighteen eighteen. Doctor. Thank you, Jesus. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever uh -huh. you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever Ooh. you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 19. Again, I say unto you that if two are of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they uh -huh. shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just like we are here now today, agreeing, agreeing over, over the healing of, our, of all those who are listening to us, over the breakthrough of all those who are listening to us, uh, talking, agreeing over all things to the, speaking to their lives, things will change on their behalf. Amen? Speak Amen. things to them. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth, whatever you bind and block, it will never happen. Praise God. You bind accident, accident will never come your way. You bind failure, failure will not come your way. You bind uh, 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 sickness, you will never be sick. Amen? Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. When you lose yourself from, from demonic activity, God will do the same thing. When you say you are, you are blessed, you are blessed. Whatever you, you bind, it will never come your way. I'm telling you. As I, as I listen to the sound of my voice this morning, I bind accident, I bind sickness, I bind failure, I bind lack of, lack of, lack of favor. Praise God. And I lose Amen. favor into your life. I lose good health into your life. I lose health and wealth into your life. And, and whatsoever we lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Praise God. Heaven, Praise controls, God. heaven controls what you say. Praise God. Heaven 
obeys what you say. Praise God. I, I'm telling you, whatever we say is being controlled in heaven. Praise God. So you have to be careful what you say. Confession yeah. is, the, is the written. Confession is the written. When you go yeah. to, when you go to uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Isaiah 55. Let's look at Isaiah 55. Praise God. I am getting so blessed this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, doctor. I'm telling you, I'm blessed. I'm getting so blessed. God is Oh, good. thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is good. Oh, look yes, at this. Look at, look at this. Isaiah 55, 11. What did he say, doctor? Isaiah 55, verse 11. Praise so God. shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall <laughs> not return unto me void, but it uh -huh. shall, shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall uh -huh. prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Please, we are, the one, we are the one blocking our success. Amen? Because of the negative things we say. Let's use yes. our mouth well. Praise God. God yes. has given us mouth to confess good things. He says, so shall my words be. That goes from out of where, doctor? Out of where? Out of my out mouth. Of, it is not your head. It is not your eye. It is not your hand. It has to be your mouth. There is yes. something God has put. God has put power in your mouth. When you yes. say things, it will happen. Praise God. From today, when somebody listening to the sound of my voice, anything you say to your son, self, to your family, if you say, let the righteous say, it is well with your soul. I'm telling you, it's going to be well with you. It's going to yes. be well with your children. It's going to be well with, with everything that concerns you. You remember the Shunammite woman in the second Kings chapter 4, verse 8. Verse 8 to the last, to the end. The son was dead, but she was, she kept confessing, it is well, it is it well, is well, it is well, it is yeah. well. Even though the son was already dead, she was still confessing, it is well. And it is because well. Of, because of the hope that she attached, hope ignited the faith in yeah. her. Praise God. She was full yeah. of hope. That was hope. When you are confessing positive things to yourself, you are, you, are, you are creating hope that will ignite your faith, that will bring the manifestation of your Ooh. blessing. Oh, thank yeah. you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. She, she, was, she, was, she was depending on her hope, and her hope ignited the faith in her to produce results. Amen? Come on, Bishop. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, the Lord gave me that revelation. He said, anytime you speak positive things, you are, you are depending on, living on hope, hope that will ignite your faith. And then it will, it will bring manifestation of your blessing. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> she was saying, it is well. It is well. It is well. Me. It is well with my marriage. It is well with my life. It is well with my health. It is well with my body. It is well with my, with my account. It is well with my, the plans and purpose of God in my life. It is well with me. I will say to the righteous, it is well with them. It is Praise well. God. So shall my words be that great forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish, uh, uh, shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things which I sent it. Please begin to send, send, send good words out there to bring money to you. Money coming to me in Jesus' name. Praise God. Money, yeah. uh, 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 help us coming to me in Jesus' name. Financial help us coming to me. I, I'm healed. By the blood of Jesus. I yes. will not die, but live to declare the works of God. That is the language of heaven. Praise God. You must speak the language of heaven. And the language of heaven is to speak the word of God to yourself. Praise God. Yes. Uh, uh, doctor, why did Jesus, why did Jesus uh, write in, in the book of uh, Luke? L let's look at it. Let's look at it, doctor. I, I want you to, to, to explain this. Uh, why did he write in the book of Luke? Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, 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 chapter 21, verse 15. Don't we have mouth? Doctor, don't we have mouth? What is the difference between the mouth we have now and the one God wants to give to us? Luke chapter 21, verse 15. Doctor, can you read for it and tell us? Give, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. God said he will put wisdom in our mouth. <laughs> wisdom, Look at that. Wisdom is the right application of the word of God. Look it, at that. It's the right application of the knowledge that you have from the word of God. 
It's applying the word of God rightly. That's wisdom. And God says, I'll, get, I'll put wisdom in your mouth. Oh! That we have a mouth already, but in to anoint our mouth. That's what I'm talking about. The mouth now, we need to ask us to anoint it with wisdom. Praise God. Anoint yeah. it with what? Anoint it with faith. That's what he's saying. He says, yeah. I will give you a mouth. He knows you have a mouth already. But that mouth is has, that mouth has no power. Praise God. Come on now. He wants to he wants to re anoint your mouth so that your mouth can <laughs> make an impact in your generation. Your mouth because the voice that you will be listening to. Anybody that listens to what you say must obey. Because it carries power. He wants to put power in your mouth. What you are carrying now is no mouth until it is anointed. Praise God. Until Praise God, God empowers you. That mouth must be empowered by God. Amen. That is why Amen. I will give you a mouth and a wisdom. I ask myself, let I have a mouth already. And the Holy Ghost said, no, that, that mouth is no mouth until it is, it is anointed. Amen. <laughs> there, is a mouth and, there, there is a mouth and there is a mouth. We have to ask God today to fill our mouth with faith and wisdom and hope and power. And the word of God should be in our mouth so that we will be confessing the word of God. Did you, did you see the, what the centurion said to Jesus in the book of in the book of uh, Matthew chapter eight from verse five? The centurion, when the storm was was still, doctor, can you go through it? We are rounding up this morning, powerfully, amen. Powerfully. Amen. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. Matthew chapter eight and verse from five. Yeah, from verse five. Yeah, verse five. Uh huh. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, uh -huh. there came unto him a centurion, beseeching uh -huh. him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously okay. tormented. And uh -huh. Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The uh -huh. centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but uh -huh. speak the word only, and my servant speak. shall be healed. <laughs> speak! You have to speak! Don't stay yeah. there and, and keep quiet. When you keep quiet, <laughs> the devil is going to run over you. You have to say, you have to be aggressive to say things. Empower, God will empower your mouth this morning to confess positive things to yourself. Yeah. Speak to yourself. Speak to your body. Speak to your, speak to your future. Praise God. Speak to your future and say, future, here I come. Oh, I'm unstoppable. I'm a winner. Hallelujah. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. I'm not going to be a failure. I'm not going to be a failure. I'll be successful. Praise God. Today, today, my day today shall be successful. Speak to yourself. Declare. Declare what you want to, God to do. Whatever you declare on earth shall be declared in heaven. Praise God. Whatever you yeah. find on earth, what you don't want, stop it. Put a stop to it with your mouth. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I, I was going through what you were uh, telling me, uh, Doctor. I, uh, I was going through what you were telling me, Doctor, uh, what you said this morning in the book of Mark chapter 11. And I said, wow, I've never seen it like that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, Doctor, you are a blessing. You are a blessing. <laughs> look, 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 at, look at it. Look at it. Let's look at it uh, in the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 23. Doctor, what did he say? What did he say? I saw, say, say, several times. Oh. And they come again. Mark chapter Mark 11, verse 27. 27. 23, 23. From 23. And what they did come again to Jerusalem. No, 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 no. No, no. Mark chapter 11, verse 23. 23. 23. For verily I say unto you, that uh -huh. whoever shall say unto this mountain, whosoever shall say, say uh -huh. Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall uh -huh. not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall uh -huh. have whatsoever he saith. How many saith? Almost three. Three saith. It is important for you to say. Praise God. It's important. <laughs> it's important. It's important. It's a very, yes, it very, is. I say. This is number one say. Unto you, I discovered it this morning. Very, very, I say unto you that whosoever shall say, number two, another say, unto this mountain, be that removed, and be that cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that to those things which 
uh, uh, those things which he said, can he say, which in his life, can he say, without that, you are saying it three times. He said, said, said three times. It's more important to say than to, to keep quiet. Praise God. There, there Praise is something God. about you confessing. Power. There is creative ability in your mouth. Praise God. God yes. has put creative abilities. The, the impossible becomes possible when you believe and say, Praise God. <laughs> I, I, yes, going to, praise God. I am going to, you are going to bring down heaven on earth. Praise God. Your destiny cannot be stopped when you, your mouth, if you, if you don't allow the devil to stop your mouth from saying positive things. Praise God. So yes. children today, so children today are nowhere because their parents were ignorantly cursing them. Rock hair, idiot, stupid. That child is going to become stupid. Uh, praise God. When you abuse a child, it's going to become stupid. When you tell a child, you are blessed. Your child is going to be blessed. Speak positive things to your children. Yes. Praise yes. God. Don't praise because God. of anger, out of anger and ignorance, you, you curse your children. And those curses follow them. What you say to them, follow them. When you tell your child, you are not going to die. He will not die. When you bless your husband, bless your wife, bless your children, say good things to them. Praise God. Yes. God is a good God. Uh, God yes. is not a negative God. God wants you to be positive. And that's why you have to renew your mind. Praise God. Praise do God. Not, do, not con do, do not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. What did he say in uh, Second Corinthians? Somewhere there, chapter 4, 18. Uh, 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 he said, Why we look not unto the things that are seen? But the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are, are, are temporal, but for the things that are unseen are eternal, which means you have to speak about the things you don't see, but it will manifest. That's faith. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things hoped for. You hope for it, you have not seen it, but you confess it with your mouth, it's going to happen. Praise God. <laughs> I, I, Amen. I decree, I decree that my pocket will never be dry. I decree. I make a decree that my bank account will never be dry. I will never be poor again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Poverty has been eradicated from somebody. Lack has been eradicated. Sickness has been uprooted in your life. Failure has been uprooted in your life. As you listen to the sound of my voice, you will not die, but live to declare the works of God. You are going to serve the Lord. You are going to serve the Lord with gladness. You are going to, you are going to live your life victorious because you apply faith to what you say. You believe in what you say. Praise God. Uh, Doctor, yeah. I love what you said. I love that. I love it. I wrote it down here. He uh, said, say, say the things you believe. And praise God. You, because you, you, you believe it, you speak it, and you say it. Praise God. <laughs> Second Corinthians 4, 14, I wrote it. 4, 13. I wrote it here. Say, say, say the things that you, you believe and speak. Praise God. Yeah. The things you believe, speak it out. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that He died for my sins. I believe that the blood of Jesus has redeemed me from the hands of the enemy. What did He say in Psalm 107 verse 2? Doctor, Psalm 107 verse 2, what did He say? God is doing something. Great God. God. God is doing something. Hallelujah. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. When God has redeemed you from the devil, ah, use your mouth and say it, it will happen. Praise God. <laughs> when yeah. God has redeemed you from poverty, oh, use your mouth and say it, it will happen. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are speaking the language of our, 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 our of heaven. The language of our Father is the word of God. You have to speak it. It is yes. Follow the rules and your life will be sweet. Praise God. Obey the Praise rules. Praise God. Obey the rules and your life will be sweet. Praise yes. God. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he said, he said, let the redeem of the Lord. Don't keep quiet. Say it, that God has redeemed you from the hands of the enemy. Let the yes. redeem of the Lord say so. Say so. Say. Say. From today. From today, as we land up our first seminar, uh, 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 seminar, I I'm want redeemed. you to learn how to confess positive things to your to yourself, positive things to your children, positive things to positive confession brings res results. Amen. Say yes. it, even when you don't see that faith. Say it. 
That Shunammite woman says, it is well with my soul. Uh, is it well with your soul? Elisha asked, yeah. is it well with your soul? He said, it is well with my soul. Now when the, the son physically was dead, but she believes that Jesus is going to raise him up. Praise God. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Yeah. Say that it is well with you. <laughs> I, I don't care whatever. I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not respond to the things happening in my environment. I will not let my environment control me negatively. Praise God. I'm yeah. going to change my environment. You can change, yeah. the, at, you can change the atmosphere with, the, with, with positive, the atmosphere appears from negative to positive. Praise God. And yeah. certain things happen. Praise God. God has said that we are in charge. We are in charge. Speak good things to yourself. There is power in your mouth. Praise yeah. God. Praise <laughs> God. Oh, and glory to God. God, Bishop. Glory to you. God. Powerful, Bishop. Amen, amen. Powerful amen. words, Bishop. Powerful amen. words. They, just like you said, Bishop, Jesus, yes. Yeshua said in Mark 11, 23, he said, stay it. Stay it. Four times. Four times. Four times. I was thinking it's three. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he said it four times. Four Bishop. times. Oh, I thought it was three. Look at that. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, uh, 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 doctor. Faith, uh, faith is all about confessing positive things. Whether you see it or not, I am great. I am going to be the head and not the tail. And you can yeah. say things to yourself, and in a few years' time, it will happen. Praise God. Listen, the, world, the world is all friend. It, it, it's your choice. There is negative and positive. Which one do you follow? Light and darkness. Darkness in darkness you speak negative things. In, in, in light you speak the light, the word of God. Amen. Because Jesus Amen. is light. Praise God. Choose Amen. Which how you want your life to be. You said something yesterday. You say your life can be very sweet. Your life will be better when you when you begin to live by faith. Amen. <laughs> yes, that's right, Bishop. That's oh, right, Jesus. Bishop. Oh, Bishop, this has been a, a great joy. Uh, uh, this faith seminar, uh, teaching this faith seminar with you has been a great joy. And, I, and, and, and Brother Tony, again, thank you so very much. God bless you, Brother. You're doing an a awesome uh, uh, work, Brother Tony, and I'm so grateful to be a, a part of your team. Bishop, I love you. Thank you, Bishop. I, 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 I want to say something. I want to say something, uh, Doctor uh, Newsom. I want to thank yeah. you. I want also to thank uh, uh, Brother Tony. I want yeah. to tell Brother Tony that a turnaround is coming big time, big time for this radio program. I'm telling yeah. you, radio station is going to be known all over the world. I'm yeah. telling you, celebration is coming big time for you. The things you have sown into this ministry, into this radio ministry, it's not in vain. Something is about to happen. God bless you, Brother Tony. God bless you. Uh, God bless Hallelujah. you, Dr. Newsom. God bless the listeners. Thank you. God, thank God. you. Yes. Hallelujah. God Amen. bless you, Bishop. I thank love you. you. I want to and thank I you all for a great you. week of a seminar, too, Dr. Newsom and Bishop Echo. I want to thank you all for doing a great job on the two weeks of the Faith Seminar. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Amen. Brother Tony. What a blessing. What a blessing, Amen. Brother John. Thank it's you very much. It's been very Amen. inspiring and very helpful for people around the, around the globe. And just thank you also, Bishop Echo. She's been speaking a powerful word this week, last couple of weeks. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. What God an honor. You. What an honor. Thank you, Brother oh, yeah. Tony. God bless you, Brother Tony. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, Brother voice. Tony. Amen. God oh, hallelujah. You. What an honor Amen. for Brother Tony to come on the air with us and, and, and encourage us. What a blessing. What a great yeah. man of God. I thank you, Brother Tony. Yeah. I, I, I thank you, Bishop Echo. And I thank God all those you. who have been listening. God bless you. And remember, Amen. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we walk by faith. Not by sight. See you next time. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Next time. God bless you. Amen. Amen.
righteousness. A God of peace. A God of justice. Everything you need. There's a praise on the inside 
that I can't keep to myself. A holler stirring up from the depths of my soul. So excuse me if I seem a little giddy or maybe even strange. But praise is the way I say things. Sometimes I just get so bubbly on the inside. I just want to holler it out. Come on. There's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. A holler, holler, stirring up from the depths of my Until it came from your belly. What you doing, man? Tony Gill, don't stop. What you playing, man? Man, I'm enjoying I'm it, enjoy, man. I'm enjoying the Tony Gill show. Ah, you go ahead, Tony Gill. Play that gospel, Tony Gill. Nah, nah, nah. This is your brother from another mother, God's messenger. Oh. I'm going to tell you about a man named Jesus. I don't care what you need.
know what to do. It's your boy Bam Bam the Voice. You know I'm rocking with my boy Tony Gill on the Tony Gill Show. Now for 15 years, he's been interviewing artists and playing their music just like me. And for that, I want to say thank you. So log on, tune in, turn those speakers up. This is the Tony Gill Show. Take a little time. 